welcome everyone uh, to the workshop 2 on python and mysql uh, so today uh, we'll discuss how to uh, work with mysql server using python so to to start with mysql server with python uh, let's start with lightweight and centralized databases uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the difference between sql light and mysql here so lightweight and centralized databases there are many uh, databases available uh, libraries available and servers available for the lightweight where is sql light in our course right now and that might for my sql as a server uh, to work with the uh, server or uh, server based database just like some centralized databases so uh, so then what's the difference between sql light and mysql right so as i said the sql light is a lightweight database and uh, mysql is a centralized database uh, as you walked in a week one practice and week two practice, you can see that SQL Lite, uh, you, you don't need to start a server or do a configuration to work with a database. It's a flat flat file database, which which can be worked with just importing the library, Python library, SQL Lite 3. This can be, this is very useful in a simple uh, use cases. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the, uh, wherever the traffic is very low and that that kind of applications uh, it, it, it will not be suitable for the high traffic based applications and the if the uh, data is very huge right so in in the on the other hand if you see the mysql database it's a centralized database uh, so this will be useful for the large data sets and the, where there are high volume of traffic is coming like it, where you have the many users to uh, Users on the application. So, so we'll we'll work on uh, th in this uh, workshop. We'll work on uh, connecting to a MySQL server and how to connect using a Python. You'll use a, a library to connect to a My MySQL server and execute a queries on the example database, uh, example schema, uh, which is circular. So uh, before we proceed, I hope everyone uh, is installed MySQL Workbench and MAMP server. So we'll, we'll keep the questions at the end of the session. Uh, so first I'll, I'll finish off the workshop and then at the end we'll, uh, I'll give you guys the time to ask questions. To work with MySQL server, uh, first we need to install Python library, which is uh, MySQL connector Python. So that can be done easily using the pip package. You can, you can just uh, run pip install MySQL connector Python, which will install a MySQL uh, server Python library for you. And uh, once you have imported a MySQL server Python library, they, uh, you can import that as a uh, import that to your uh, Python uh, environment and uh, create a connection object using the connection template example given here. So uh, before we proceed with executing and how, how we connecting to a MySQL server, first we uh, make sure that uh, we have installed MAMP server and started the connection uh, and started the uh, MAMP server. Right. So to do that, search for MAMP server in your system and uh, start the server. And once it's started, go to your workbench. And uh, as you worked, worked on the MySQL workbench in the last week uh, and the uh, last last week's uh, workshop as well, so uh, there will be a connection created uh, to a map server. So just open the server and make sure that the session is connected to that uh, running uh, running connection. You can you can uh, see that using the object in find session. You can see that the schema is circular and the session is uh, session is established here. Once you have that ready, and the MAMP server and the MySQL open to just to make sure that the MAMP server is running properly. Uh, let's start with working on the uh, Python, uh, working on connecting to a MySQL server using Python. 
So start a Jupyter notebook uh, from your uh, uh, machine or from local server. Since we are working on the local MySQL server, we'll be using uh, Jupyter notebook, which is running locally. Uh, this cannot be uh, connected from the Google Collab since Google Collab runs on the Google Cloud. And the session on the Google Cloud is different than the session in your local laptop, right? You cannot connect to a local server which you are running. So for that, you need to have a, a Cloud MySQL server running uh, to work within a, a Google Collab or Jupyter notebook. So once you have uh, your Jupyter uh, up and running, create a notebook and install the MySQL connector Python using pip install MySQL connector Python. This will install the uh, library in your Python environment. Once that is done, uh, import MySQL connector and create a connection uh, object, right? So these are the arguments you need to connect to your uh, MySQL server. The username, the user which you have given to connect to a MySQL server, and the password, uh, in, in my case, it's I give it as just username itself root. You can give, uh, just know that whatever the password you give when the map server is started. If you have forgotten the password and the connection details, you can always go to map server. You can always go to map server and click on web start. So this will land you in a, uh, a map web page. In there, go to MySQL section. And you can see that there, there are configuration details available. You can see the host, port, username, password, and everything. And the another good thing is that you can see that example section here. Go to Python section, and then it will wa walk you through how to connect to a MySQL server as well. So once your connection object, uh, once you connect it to your database, it will return your connection object. Once you have the connection object, uh, you can. You, you need to uh, create a cursor object to execute the SQL statements and interact with a MySQL server uh, using a MySQL connection object. Once you have the cursor object ready, uh, you can start using the execute method to run a, a SQL statements or uh, operations. For example, you can see that here, cursor.execute, uh, I'm uh, just getting all the data from actor table uh, and then limiting it to five here. Right? So once that cursor object is created, it's an iterable object. Uh, so you can iterate over through the result here, or you can get you can fetch all the rows using a fetch all method as well. So for example, uh, I'll see that once I got my result, I'm just iterating through a result and uh, just printing back the same thing uh, which I did here. So just to show you that it's an iterable object. So uh, we'll, we'll go through a different uh, queries here, and then we'll work on how we can convert uh, the result query result set to a data frame, and then how to perform an ED on that query result set. So here in this uh, query, we are selecting the actor names, and uh, we're just selecting the, not only just selecting the actor names, we're selecting the actor names who has the same last name, right? Like, uh, Kilmo has the count, uh, count of five uh, actors. I mean, five actors has the last name as Kilmo. Like this, uh, there are many other uh, actors who has the same last name. So we're limiting that to uh, just three, to just to make sure that we we can uh, to just to work on the uh, exercise. And the uh, another example query is that. Uh, select a title, a uh, movie title, where uh, it contains or where, where it has a pirate's word in it. Right? So to do that, we can use a like operator uh, to get the uh, result. So a result set, a query result set, who has a, uh, uh, query result set in, in movie has the pirate name, pirate word in it. We can say that pirates and twisted pirates. So these are the just an example of executing the queries, right? So as you see that in, in the upcoming assignment, you, you also have 
uh, you also have to perform a, a exploited data analysis and visualize the uh, query results, right? So how do you convert that? How do you do that using uh, MySQL uh, server and the MySQL uh, query results? Right. So to do that, uh, first, you uh, get the query results at using fetch all method so that you have a result in a, a dictionary format uh, for all the rows and import a pandas library and once you imported that, convert that to a, a data frame. So as you can see that uh, I converted to a data frame, uh, is, uh, the my result, which is nothing but just a fetch all. It's a set of I mean, the collection of rows and the type of DX you can see that it's a data frame. So this is a one way of converting a query results set to a data frame. But uh, there is another way to do that as well using a pandas. Uh, there is a method available uh, or read SQL. It will read the query and fetch the result from the particular table and uh, give you back the data. So uh, once once the uh, once the query result set is converted to a data frame. So how do you? Uh, do a data analysis on that. How do you do exploratory data analysis on the query result side? Right. So you can do it in a two ways. You can just use a matplotlib or you can use a seaborn as well. So I'm using uh, uh, both here. I'm using uh, mainly I'm using seaborn here, and then using just a matplotlib to uh, just configure the figure size. So uh, so for the previous query, as you see here, uh, the where we executed a query to get the last uh, actor names who has the same last name. I'm doing a visualization on that, uh, saying that uh, the last name Kilmer has total of five actors and the last name Temple has a total of four actors. Right. On the same note, uh, we'll execute few more queries, different queries to get a different uh, result set and do analysis on that. So here in this query, we are getting a top five most frequently rented movies. And uh, once we get the results set, we'll convert that to a data frame and uh, visualize that to see how, how it looks. Right. So as you can see that uh, these are the list of movies, movie titles, and so this you see, these are the uh, uh, rental count. I mean, these, these many times these movies are rented out. So to visualize that, uh, uh, as as we discussed before, we are converting to a data frame, and once it converted to a data frame, you, we are using the seaborn to plot a bar plot. You can see that x is title and the y is rental car. Like, as you can see in this data visualization, this movie, the uh, Bucket Brother, is rented almost more than uh, 30. 34, 33, 32 times, I mean, you can see 34 times. Right. So, yeah, so this is this is how you visualize uh, your query results at uh, using pandas.